I'm gonna give you four of the best exercises that you can use to take a hit, and we're gonna start right now. Okay, so first we gotta talk about why is it important to have ab strength to handle a hit? If we're getting peppered all throughout our trunk, okay, we have to be able to flex here to absorb that energy and to protect our organs, right? If we can flex properly and absorb that energy, now we might take a blow here, we can protect the organs here inside of our body so we don't take as much damage, and then on top of that, come out of that with a big hit. So we can have almost a stretch shortening cycle when we're absorbing somebody's blow. Obviously, we don't want them to just drill us, but if we can take that blow here and then come out of that with proper energy usage, that's gonna improve our ability to knock somebody out or our ability to actually fight logically, right? So that's gonna take us into that 60 second anatomy lesson. We've gotta know, one, this should be viewed as a trunk, dynamic trunk control. So we wanna actually focus on the trunk connecting into our hips. If we focus on that and the rotational aspect of our hips and our trunk together, that's gonna improve our ability to execute these movements. On top of that, we've got the rectus abdominis, transverse abdominis. We have the internal and the external obliques, and they're gonna be going in two different directions. So if we can train our obliques, our rectus abdominis, our transverse abdominis, and our hips all together, that's gonna help us take that hit even more effectively and return it at a higher degree. All right, so this first exercise, we can do three different ways, okay? I wanna focus on having that trunk stability, okay? So we've got a 20 pounder here, and something simple that we can do is just balance here, sort of move this around, okay? And then we wanna focus on decelerating this med ball as quickly as possible. And then, if you have a partner, you can throw it rotationally. Notice, my feet are not down, I'm balancing on my butt. A lot of fighters struggle to just sit on their butt. They'll actually have their lower back down. So make sure you're on your butt, okay? So we're here and we can get a little creative. Rotate. Whoops. And we wanna decelerate as quickly as possible. I think one of the best things you can do, get a med ball, okay? Throw that, catch it as quickly as possible, decelerate quickly. Okay, you can do four sets, seven each way. It's gonna light up your abs, but you're also gonna feel that in your hips, and that's what we're looking for. The second movement is absolutely phenomenal. And remember, this is a weird trick here. When I'm doing core work, I like to do it really, really fast or really, really slow. And one of those weird things that I remember is that if you ever throw up from drinking too much, you actually feel your abs are pretty sore that next day. You feel it in your intercostals, you feel it in your obliques. And that's why we should be doing things pretty fast. And that's what punches are thrown very, very quickly. So we have to absorb that energy fast. Now, this is another rotational thing with our hips here, okay? So we're here holding and we wanna go, boom, hold. Nice and slow, okay? Back, boom, nice and slow. Back, boom, nice and slow, boom. One more, boom. And the big thing here is that we can switch sides, okay? So if we do both sides and we have that isometric holding position. So the action of the isometric, along with the rapid eccentric or the rapid concentric and the holding on the eccentric nice and controlled, that's gonna lead to tremendous rotational strength and the ability to absorb something, to decelerate and then reapply that energy. So we're trying to hit this very uniquely and that's exactly where this comes into play. Again, three, four, five sets, seven each side. All right, another sweet movement. And if you don't have a decline bench, you could do this on the floor as well. This is gonna be similar to the med ball, but I call this Dane's fast abs. This is something that we use with a lot of our throwers. Remember, if you have shot putters, hammer throwers, discus throwers, there's a ton of angular momentum. Angular momentum is a key concept in boxing or in combat sports. Okay, there's a lot of momentum and there's a lot of absorption. So this is where this comes into play. And this is what Dane's fast abs is. We're gonna focus here. Okay. And then we can go here. Okay, so we like to do this three or four sets, seven, 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 each side. We use this exercise inside of our app, Peak Strength. So if you go in, you pick up Peak Strength, and you wanna become a combat athlete that actually trains, 
that actually wants to be one of the best fighters in the world, you're gonna use Dane's Fast Abs. All right, so we're gonna give you two movements here that are pretty freaking unique, and we're gonna be using our Parallastics band. So we're gonna be using the Strength Band here and the HAF band. Now, Strength Band is what we use over on the glute ham, and now we're gonna give you something that's absolutely crazy that we use with some of our fighters, but also with all of our world-class throwers. I'm gonna put this inside of my non-dominant arm, and you can get creative with this. You can sort of build off of this exercise, off this movement. One thing we can do, okay, is now this is draped over, and we can just try and hit this a hair, okay? So this is draped over and we can get here and hold, okay? Get here and this now coming across my chest, I wanna feel this ab over here, okay? Right up top, try and decelerate. Okay, you can really start to feel it in that little hip pocket right here and your abs all at once, driving from this side. Now, if we think about taking a hit, this is pulling us back, okay? That's where we might take a hit, come through. Take a hit, come through. Ideally, we aren't taking hits, but it's part of the sport, it's gonna happen. So you can use that energy effectively, okay, in your favor while still protecting those organs. Now, I'm gonna show you another one that we use with the throwers. We can get this hooked in here. So we got a little, this is gonna get a little crazy here, okay? This is the deceleration point and we wanna push here. So we're gonna get more energy from both sides. So we're here. One more. Obviously we wanna train both sides, okay? If we're training both sides, we have two different lever arms there. We're gonna feel that all over our body, in our hips, in that trunk. If we have that dynamic trunk control, that's gonna help us move a little bit more effectively. That's gonna help us be a little bit more agile, take the energy, reuse it, so you can knock out your opponent after you take that punch. So use all these exercises to increase that ab strength so you can take a punch more effectively. Remember, head over to peakstrength.app, the Google Play Store, or the Apple iOS Store where you can pick up our app, go in, fill out combat so that you can train to take those hits and give them even more. Because remember, freaks, if you wanna become a champion, you've always gotta cultivate your power. Peace.